my memories really are, are so clear of the day, particularly in, in the game itself. When you're focusing on something that's the biggest game of my life, biggest game probably our, of our country's lives and supporters, you remember exactly how you felt, what you were doing. And of course the final moments will stay with me forever. When the Germans equalised before the whistle was blown at the end of normal time and you look at the disappointment on some of the lads' faces and particularly Bobby Charlton, who was hugely disappointed. A couple of things happened when Alf Ramsey got us back on the edge of the touchline. The Germans were sat down. One or two of our lads started to sit down and what he said to them, get up, don't let the Germans see that you're tired. And then the, the final words, of course, before we went on to the extra time were, will always stay with me. And he very simply said, you've beaten them once, just go and beat them again. I think Sir Alf Ramsey's method really were not just prior to the game itself. His methods had a huge impact over the probably the three years since he took the job in 1963. And they were very, very consistent and it was very much on a one-to-one -one basis. There was never really any rousing team talks. I always remember the dressing room being fairly quiet. If, if for example, in the dressing room prior to the game, a change next to Jack Charlton, Alf Ramsey would be alongside him talking to him. And I would have absolutely no idea what he was talking about. But he would be obviously reinforcing what he wanted from Jack. And then he'd come to me and he'd reinforce the message very clearly and consistently on what he expected from me, not only on that day, of course, but every game I played under him. He got players in from the clubs, into the England system, and whatever you did at your club, it fitted into the national team. It's Gordon Banks, the best goalkeeper I've seen. Bobby Moore, we haven't replaced. Sir Bobby Charlton, 100 odd games and 49 goals. And a bunch of very hard nosed professionals who would fight and scrap for the team, who I would argue probably some other managers would not have picked at the time. And I don't think if you look at 50 years, at any time have we had such a, a backbone. Great players, a great system, and a, a very, very cool, level headed manager. I remember so much during the game. But what Alf said to me after the game, I'm not really sure, because I think it was all, all a bit of a blur. If he did say something, it would probably have been something like, well done, Jeff, and, and that would have been it. When you left any game you played with him after the match and the after-match ceremonies, you'd just say something like, see you again, Alf, and Alf would always say, maybe, Jeff, maybe. And those little things stick in your mind, thinking, well, don't get too carried away, you know, you're only as good as your last game.